This always fucking happens when I go to fucking hit the record button, and then I realize my audacity's still on Windows Wasapi from when I last recorded my computer. I'm an idiot. <laughs> so, we're in lockdown, my mom has got to work at home, I only got a few hours of editing per day to be able to get shit done, then these motherfuckers have to upload the episode I am most hyped for on April 1st in the middle of all this shit. God damn it, guys, come on! Anyway, let's get to watching because... Zero hype. <laughs> Son of a- I really like this disclaimer about when the research was concluded. I am very certain this was in Kami vs. Nina 2, but fuck off. I'm gonna comment on it now. It should help alleviate the amount of idiots who tell you that you're wrong because of information you didn't have until after the research was finished. Like, all those fucking geniuses who say Urza vs. Zora should have included Urza's meteor feet. You f fucking- I really don't know how I feel about them using the X body. Now yes, they do scale him to Mega Man Zero Zero's body speed. That was a mouthful. But by all accounts, the Mega Man Zero one should be more powerful, as he was able to destroy a buffed version of his original body, which is the X body. I get that the X body has many more abilities and feats, but come on, guys, the one I grew up with. I love those games. Cater to me, please. Joking. Still, I don't know how I feel about this personally. ...of sentient machine that would overshadow anything. Whoa, there was an audio goof there. That definitely sounds like two audio clips stuck together and not done very well. That's like not death battle level editing. Wait. Then again, I have had times where I've recorded audio and it sounds like two clips together when it wasn't. Um, it's only happened once before, but it did happen. Um, and I think my mic might have just crapped out for like a millisecond or two and it just added that tiny little gap of silence that the, the track covered up itself. Um, so it's possible that's what happened here. Stronger. Faster. He's the first member of the DK crew. Yes, Revo. Show me the season list. Show it to me. WHY AREN'T YOU ANSWERING? Space-time resistances. That's some interesting wording. I don't know, maybe it's worded like that in the X series? Um... But shouldn't that be space-time manipulation resistances? Like, what does just having a resistance to space-time mean? You just don't experience the fourth dimension like we do, or...? I'm confused. I'm fairly certain this is in reference to him resisting some time manipulation abilities, but... Maybe I'm missing something. Oh, come on. The list can't be that long. Wanna bet? Take a look at the list of them. Holy <laughs> This thing is longer than my alimony paperwork! Rick, you did Mega Man in the first episode. This should not be too unusual to you. You also did Mewtwo, and he has quite the moveset. See, Zero wins because he can say the N-word in his super form. I'm not funny. God damn! How many zeros is that? Well, I only see one. Is Chelsea versus Battle Waifu? Survive Lumine's ultimate attack, which destroyed an entire star. God, could you imagine being her right now? Just imagine you hit someone with your ultimate attack and it does nothing. This is my ultimate attack. Die, Lord Beerus! Uh -huh. What? <laughs> Mega Man Zero time. Yes. Because I like those games. So the logic that they should scale is that the personality is the same which was a plot point in Mega Man Zero 3, but that should have no impact on whether they should scale. I'm a little bit confused, because if you stuck Zero's body in a regular fucking, fucking Reploid, does that... It, it's still the exact same thing you're going on. On the inside, it's still the same Zero, so would that Reploid then scale to... Zero's body? Now, it's not that they shouldn't scale, because Omega Zero and Zero in the new body were able to match each other, and that's why, because Omega Zero is just a buffed version of X Zero. He looks the same as Zero Body Zero, but that's not because they are the same. That's just because of the art style of the game, or they didn't want to make a whole new set of sprites for this character and just recolor the Zero sprites. It's, it's, it's supposed to be the X Body, but New Zero still beat it, so Omega Zero speed shouldn't be too much below the number they've given. Essentially, Dr. Vale upgraded the original Zero body to unlock its full potential, so this is pretty much how powerful X Era Zero would be at its absolute max. Now, yes, Zero Era Zero still beat him, meaning this is the most powerful incarnation of Zero, but that does not invalidate the power of Omega Zero. He should still be scalable to X Zero... Bleh. He should still be scalable to X Era Zero to an extent, and whatever margin of error there is probably is enough to completely throw out this number. Besides, the number is fucking irrelevant, because even when they brought up that number, I knew Meta Knight would be faster via warp star scaling and stuff like that, like... Meta Knight's faster, 
but it doesn't matter because Zero can just stop time. So it, if Zero is more powerful, he'd win anyway because he could just stop time and fucking one shot Meta Knight or something like that. Of course, there's also the matter that El Pizzo with the Dark Elf was able to one shot Mega Man X. I think I don't remember 100%, but I think that happened. So Zero beating him is just impressive. And I should have used Zero. Zero, why do you hate me, Crossover X? Never mind, I know why you hate me, it's because I'm me. I'm really glad they avoided making a dumb what am I fighting for joke. Just having the text here from Revo is good enough. After the, it's like a hunk of raw iron, joke in Guts vs. Wolverine, I was afraid that if they ever used Zero or Dante, they'd be all, what am I dark soul with light for joking, but no, no, restraint from making those jokes, and I applaud that. If someone is solar powered but runs at the speed of light, can they truly get that power? Now, I know solar power is more than just the light, it's generally the solar radiance, which is the light and heat combined using photovoltaics and concentrated solar power, but if someone's moving at the speed of light, would they be able to absorb the photons and the heat, or would they just be too fast to do that? I mean, if they're moving at the speed of light, they have no mass, so I guess if we're talking about this in realistic science, it doesn't matter because it'd be impossible for to go at that speed, but, ah, you know. Let's take a step back and travel into the past. She's gonna take you back to the- Is the audio for this part a little out of sync, or is it just me? Hey, did you guys know that Man Knight is truly broken? Oh no! Meta Knight's broken. Aren't I funny? No, and you're not. And that's why you fit on my channel. Implying they might be the same species, and he's just trying to disguise it. He's not doing too great at that, I'll say that much. To be fair, he doesn't need to do well to disguise his species when he's disguising it from a marshmallow with the brain capacity of the average Australian. Oh, don't worry, I'm Australian. I'm allowed to say that. Nah, who am I kidding? Everybody makes jokes at the expense of Australians. Outside the obvious face mask, Meta Knight sports metallic armor on his shoulders, hands, and feet for protection during combat. Ah uh, yes, the face mask is obvious, but the giant Sonic the Hedgehog gloves and oversized, highly impractical pauldrons aren't. I mean, to be fair, people could miss the boots. His sprites don't really have them, but you know. This was an extremely close match. They said the thing. Kind of. Oh, there it is. Speed. All right, I'm a little confused. Why does the speed of a Meteor Kirby hit apply to Meta Knight's combat or movement speed? Wouldn't this count as a strength feat of anything? I mean, you could say it's an outlier of a strength feat, but then the speed fight of it would be an outlier too. I don't get it. Brett Lee can bowl a ball at 161 kilometers per hour, but he's not that fast normally. No batsman in the world can run at the speed of a ball they've hit. This seems more like a strength feat. Can someone please tell me how Kirby hitting a Meteor that far away is a speed feat? Unless you're assuming that the speed Kirby hit it away at is equal to the speed it was flying towards him at. But there's no evidence for that, and also the speed it was flying towards him at should be less because he had hit it with enough kinetic energy to completely redirect it. So... Why didn't you look at how much force we would require to send this rock hurtling that fast? Let's see, this meteor looks like two Kirby's tall. So let's say it's a sphere with a diameter of 40 centimeters. That's a volume of 33,510.32 centimeters cubed. We have no way to know what kind of meteor this is, so I'm just going to randomly say it's an iron meteor. Cool? Cool, let's go with that. They'd make this meteor about 0.29 united stalactite tons or 263 kilograms for us with a working measurement system. If that seems small to you given how big it looks, keep in mind your only flame of reference for size is Kirby and he's a manlet. It takes about 10 frames to hit max speed after Kirby hits it at 60 frames per second. That's 0.16 seconds, so it reached that speed in that amount of time. That's a velocity of 75 billion times the speed of light per second per second. That's a total amount of 189 quintillion, 229 quadrillion newtons, that's about 19 petatons, or... Multi-continental level attack. I just wasted my fucking time. So at that point I have to ask you what you think about Unicron's black hole. It fulfills all the other criteria except that it is destroyed with energy, however it's not an energy beam, as it is the energy of a grand multiversal cosmic reality warping powers of a gigantic space god. So does that count? as blowing it up with energy, or does the fact that he's a reality-warping cosmic space daddy change it? What about the sh- what? The sh- what? The sh- what? 
Those purple guys. This is one of those when the character can't pronounce a thing jokes that I don't really think works. Like, Rick's not as stupid as not Wiz, who can't even pronounce economy. This isn't as fucked up a name as Hrsvelga Arter, or Death Morfith, or even as fucked up as the word Neomon Ultra Microscopic Silica Vecanoconiosis. Schwarz. Come on, Rick, you're better than this. I just realized this means Rick canonically hasn't watched Spaceballs, the movie George Lucas ripped off, as this is just Schwartz without the T. For shame, Rick. For shame. And if you're one of those horrible people that's not watched Spaceballs, fair enough, I highly recommend watching it if you were in for a good time. You might not enjoy the humor, but it is an aged film, I admit, but, you know, I still think it's quite good, and Rick Moranis is a great talent. I highly recommend it, but you don't have to watch what I recommend. I mean, I am a Ruby hater, according to who and, even though I don't hate Ruby, so, you know. All that science is making my brain a black hole. You act like it wasn't one to begin with. Chelsea, I don't know how much of an insult that is. If his brain is a black hole, that means it has a lot of mass. So either he is just that dense, or he's so insanely smart that to hold all of the information, his brain needs to have so much mass that it became a black hole. Which would be epic, but also stupid. Stupepic. Hey look, it's me! I got a clip. Hey, wait a minute, why does Demi get a bigger image on screen than I do? Is it because he has more subs? Come on, go- Oh! Oh, they include Jet Ray's funny thumbnail. <laughs> uh, oh, hey Z-Dog, what's up, man? Anyway, as usual, the how it should have been of this episode is going to be a separate video to this one, because I don't want to spend all the time editing that as well, when I could just upload the video How Zero Vs Midnight Should Have Been One Battle Royale Edition on its own. <laughs> Some motherfucker is graffiti crossover X in the halberd. And gotten away with it! Is Revo stronger than Meta Knight confirmed? Uh, sir? What is it, Kermit? You'll get your rent when you fix this damn door! That running looks a little shant, guys, not gonna lie. Come! I don't know which of this or the Smash Brothers voice makes the come sound more sexual. I don't know if it was intentional, but I think there's like a black screen that flashes for one frame. I don't think this was intentional, it doesn't really add much to the impact of the scene. I'm also not a fan of this spinning, spinning time. time animation. I swear there was a preview you guys uploaded that I saw, and this part made me a little concerned, but there was nothing to be concerned about. This is great, and I am an ungrateful nitpicky little bitch. And you know, I'm nitpicking because I think this part of the animation is a teeny bit slow. Just a little, not much. Well, we are talking about characters with speeds up in the billions of C and above. Obviously, I don't want to fight that's literally unwatchable because you can't see the characters, but... So the animator switch here isn't as jarring as say Zombie Spider-Man vs Vampire Batman where several of the animations for abilities completely change depending on what part of a battle you're watching, but it is definitely noticeable to me at least that this part is a lot faster. Now I could say the voice acting is good, but as a guy who uses this voice for Mega Man Zero, Hello there, I am Mega Man Zero Arriba Senor on my channel, it probably doesn't mean much when I say that, but this is probably the only time I questioned the delivery of a line. I don't even question the nanny at the end, that's funny. It was a huge missed opportunity here to not have Meta Knight use his own Clado Shown Jutsu techniques to do a clone on clone battle. And I wouldn't be surprised if maybe that is what they wanted to do, but something stopped them from making light of that dream. I mean, maybe they just didn't want to lower the impact of when he uses it to do this to Zero, but I think it would have been cool. In the same vein, I think it would have been cool to actually have Absolute Zero be used. My optimistic side is telling me that they didn't use it because they wanted to convey the magnitudes of power by which Zero held the advantage. The idea that Zero is so strong that Black Zero is the only super form he'd have any reason to use, and Meta Knight just isn't strong enough to warrant absolute sub-Zero. But then the cynical part of me is saying something came up and the fact that they finished research over a year ago means they just wanted to get the episode out while they were still slightly relevant and just cut out parts that weren't important. Or maybe some complications got in the way. A similar thing apparently happened with Sub-Zero vs. Cooler Diamond where they wanted to have a really cool death, but then they weren't able to due to various factors. Did Zero just bleed blood? Has he ever done that in the games? I feel like that'd be a really stupid thing that had be... English me. I feel like that'd be a really stupid thing if that's something he does in the games. Like what, a cut can make him bleed, but this doesn't? So I am trying to avoid positive things, mostly because I can sum this battle in just the words fucking hype, and honestly, if I talked about all the positive things, there would that would be the whole video. You'd get a three hour video of me saying, this part looks really good, I like how this looks. 
I, I, how do I quantify what I think is good? They, it's all good, apart from the things... You can just say, everything that I'm not talking about is good, and I'm only talking about the bad things. And so the fact that I'm talking about 2% of the animation means that 98% of the animation is really good. But, personally, the part where Zero stabs the rock and then goes all the way to the top and then fucking smashes it... It's the best part of the fight, it is the end, but that sticks with me, I like that part. So right here they left in Meta Knight's eye on the sprite. I'm not sure if this is a mistake, or if this was intended to show Meta Knight is alive, which... I mean, they could do anyway because Meta Knight doesn't look dead, and honestly, it doesn't look like he's lying down either. I don't know what's with the sprite they chose, but... I don't know if this was done to imply Meta Knight was playing dead and was... conscious, and Zero didn't even knock him out and he was just pretending to be knocked out, Zero would fuck off, but that doesn't really seem in character. I don't know. I'm not really familiar with Tequila Knight from the Chinese cartoons, so maybe this is something he'd do. You know, I think this might be the only time on Battle Royale we see someone get saved by their own sword. You know, Manny, lots of characters have sentient possessed swords. It's not like this is the only time you'll have to deal with a sword potentially saving its character. Unless you don't use anyone in the future with a sentient sword, or anyone who does have one fucking dies like Lionovas, he man. I can't be the only one noticing Fax is doing the extremely close matchup thing while then also saying that Zero is thousands of times stronger than Meta Knight. I'm gonna be real, guys, the speed advantage is good for Meta Knight, but if he is, if he is literally so much weaker he can't even hurt Zero, it doesn't really matter how much faster Meta Knight is because he can't win if he literally can't hurt the guy. Also, Zero can stop time, and they bring that up. He could just one-shot Meta Knight at any point in the battle. He can hit Meta Knight with 5,000 times the power Meta Knight is able to withstand at any one point with a laser sword in the face through the... He could just hit Meta Knight where he doesn't have the armor while time's frozen and Meta Knight can't do shit. I wouldn't say it was extremely close in the regard of the conclusion that they got. You, I'll, I'll explain later. Some of their abilities were even blow-by-blow -blow counters. Like Twin Dream and Meta Knight's duplication, for example. I get what she means by these abilities being counters, but Meta Knight clearly is making four clones while Zero is making one. That's five Meta Knights and two Zeros. If their stats were theoretically equal, these these wouldn't be equal abilities. Meta Knight's is just better. Was that lifting strength? I mean, I mean, you could use that, but... Hmm. Yeah, I don't think you need to use this fucking feat, guys. I mean, you could have just used the Warp Star speed or Meta Knight speed here instead of making me wonder how the hell this scales. Because by that logic, David Warner should have a movement and combat speed in the subsonic range. Oh hey look, LP is killing X with one shot, I knew that happened. Okay, so I like the factoids, but this part here about how the multi solar system to universe level threads are only beaten by a specific means Kirby can use that don't scale the Meta Knight, should have been brought up proper. It does get brought up later, but not as much, not, not, not in this way. A casual, view, a casual viewer could miss these and not be bothered to go back and read them because they're too lazy, because these are only on there for a short amount of time. I'm a very fast reader, and I didn't catch all of this immediately. But it is very important information. Because a casual viewer still might have heard about multi-solar system, galaxy, or universe level Kirby, and be confused. I like this factoid. This is something that always... Fuck, I hit the table. This is something that always bothers me when people bring up Kirby feats, but ignore that Kirby is fucking tiny. Arguments of these villains being universal aside, the final battles in the Kirby series are typically fought and defeated with powers that Meta Knight doesn't really have access to. In fact, he's usually the one to sit back and let Kirby do his thing. So yeah, this is kind of similar, but what Manny the Mammoth says is worded worse than the factoid, so you should've just read the factoid. Without zero mission scaling, I'm legitimately confused. What is zero mission? I can't find a game named that, so do you mean command mission, or is this referring to, like, um, is this maybe, like, referring to... A certain mode in one of the X games, I don't know, like Zero Mission, or like playing Mega Man X as Zero is like, is, is is there like actually something called Zero Mission, or is this referring to something that I'm just not sure of? I think this, does this include Command Mission? I don't know if Lumine, Lumi, Lumi, I, I don't know if Explodey Stargirl is in Command Mission or X7, because with the animation I'm seeing here, it could be either. I'm not trying to nitpick, I am actually a little confused here, but it's not important, because this is literally bringing up that it's not important, so I have no reason to be confused. Mmm, extremely close. Let's take a look. Meta Knight's advantages. He's faster, more experienced, and can absorb a small portion of Zero's abilities. Zero is much more powerful, varied, resistant, can nullify his entire fucking sword, and his transformations can nullify his list of weaknesses, which is already tiny. This doesn't seem that close to me, fam. Ignoring, of course, if any of their research is wrong, I'm just saying, within the context of the results they got, 
it's not close. Although what I think they mean is that it was close because they had a lot of trouble figuring out what Meta Knight scales to and what he doesn't. Once they had the stats, I think it was fairly obvious who would win based on the stats they came up with. These stats paint a very clear picture, but the process of getting those stats might have been a bit harder, because scaling with Kirby can be really difficult, and I know the feeling. Uh, uh, Huan had to scale Kirby technically for um, the next NDB, which might not be out by the time this video is, but it's A back versus B bam. Now let's keep in mind, they are using only Mega Man X Era Zero, who is somewhat weaker than Omega Zero, who is X Era Zero with his full potential, who then was beaten by Zero Era Zero, who can still stop time to nullify the speed the speed thing. Wait a minute. Is that Revo wearing pants? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 anime betrayals. Well, this battle doesn't interest me nearly as much, but I suppose it was about time Battle Royale came out where I just didn't care about either character. So that was Zero vs. Meta Knight, a really, really good episode. I don't want you to think that just because I'm criticizing it, it's not a good episode. This is a really good episode. I'm very satisfied with it. Good job to all of you. <laughs> Claps to everyone on the team, because... I can't clap through a YouTube comment. I'm giving you all claps, and I hope you enjoyed my Not Battle Royale. Please watch that if you haven't, um, everyone. And please, don't forget, if you ever need a freezer or an Optimus Prime voice, just give me a call.